Hello everybody, my name is Super Strong, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. Not a very upbeat uh, beginning, the uh, beginnings for these videos have gotten, <laughs> have, have just waned as the story arc rises, because this is crazy depressing, and we are currently at the stage and we can decide if we want to kill Chloe or not. Like, I mean, help her commit suicide. Obviously, the right answer is no. But I was telling you about the lesson in this game last episode. And what that is, is it's kind of showing you. And you, I think you have to be of a certain age and maturity to appreciate the story, the morals, the overall everything, the overall essence of this game, the atmosphere this game produces. You have to be, you can't just be like that. Obviously, this is for mature people. But there are a lot of immature by mature, I mean rated M, as in 17 year plus. But there's a lot of 17 plus year olds that really just don't don't quite grasp. They don't. They don't. They're not. They're gonna be the part of this game. Some of them will be like, "Oh, this game is so bad." You know, it's um, it's uh, boring and whatnot. Some people will be like, "Oh my god, this is so sad, so emotional." I, I, you know, it's a really good game and all that. But there's some people who are just gonna be like, "This game is fantastic in so many ways." And, and like, so that, that like I'm saying, decision making. Now, obviously, these decisions are ridiculous and really hard on a person. And hopefully, you never have to make the decision between living, living, live, and someone live and die in your life. But I'm just saying, it's a tough choice. And this game is exploring the possibilities of when you can go back and change those. And uh, I'm getting super serious here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right after that. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you this because this is making me think a lot philosophically. And, uh, and I'm talking a lot here too. And I'm just saying, yeah, this is like exploring the option. If you if you could go back and, and, and you could make any decision you wanted, including life and death situations. And this is a crazy, wacky adventure that they're on. But I'm just saying, this game is, teaches you a lot about decision making. But this is just a game. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to refuse. I'm just saying, it's crazy how much this game makes you think. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You asked them? You will. And they didn't get you in to I, watch you? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. You're not ill, you're broken. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. There is no reason for her to Why? explain to her what she's going to do. You're just bailing on me. Like yeah, just, just do it. She's not going to remember. Just do out? it. You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't she's gonna put the And she's going to play the guilt card. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. You keep saying that, Max, but you've done it several times already. In different ways, and mind you, the choices were mine, but you've still done it. Alright, Max. I'm sorry, William. Yeah, this is a really, really tough choice for an 18-year-old to have to make. Like, like, super ridiculous. And saying the thing about choices, that's what I'm saying, the thing about choices. This game is ridiculous about that, and uh, very good at making you feel things. I thought for a second there it wasn't working and I was doing something wrong. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. This episode is super depressing. Can I just say that? That's why I'm talking like this, because this game, this episode is really depressing. And, Hello. well... Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. It makes you, it makes you really depressed. It's really good at doing what it does. So I don't know, man. I don't, you can be, you know, 15-year-old playing this game, being like, yeah, this game's cool. You can be 16-year-old boy playing this game, be like, this game is total shit. It's stupid, and there's nothing good about it. And you could be me, who gets really involved with it, really likes it, really really appreciates the story and the messages, and it's beyond a fantastic game. It's it's an experience, is what it is. 
And I really should be saving these, these thoughts for like the end of the game. But I have to say this now. That was the last time you're ever going to see him. Alive. But that's a freaking tough choice. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never going to see us again. It's true. I am. Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. This right here is and super sad up, too, not because she, world. not because Max Listen, has made this hard decision, because now happens, we get to see juxtaposition of what Chloe used to be strong. like, really positive, Even if really happy. Like I wasn't there for you. A really good child overall and she was a problem child which is a very common thing to happen I'll always have your back because life sucks people always. rebel but that right there you see juxtaposition of, of, of then and now and that right there is worth so much Okay, I understand the point of this is to be like, everything is going back to the way it was, but the fact that we already know this is happening, like, we know what's going on. We're going back, the, wor the world's going back to the way it was. Like, this is the, it seems like a bit extraneous, you know, it seems a bit long. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but it just seems like you could have zoomed through that a bit, a bit better. Just my opinion, because I'm impatient, whatever. But we should get back to being sleuthy and less depressing because I think the super depressing parts for now are over. And I can get back to being goofy, hopefully, because we need some comic relief or like Chloe, we're all gonna explode. You're back. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? No, what did we go over? I don't remember. Sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. This is after the pool thing. Welcome back to the real world. Hmm, I don't want- I don't like a copyright claim for this video. I don't, think I I don't like getting those emails because it just seems like I've done something wrong and it, when I get those emails, it's like YouTube's mad at me or something. I don't like it. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Oh, okay, this is what happened. What are you looking at, Max? Show me what's going on. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher- Save the she later, save the world. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can Going back up. to the garage? Okay. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Nowhere, Here's because cyberstalking sucks. And be sucks. careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Yeah. Oh, please. 
See, she's not super mad about it. She's gonna bring it up maybe once or twice more. But at the end of the day, it was probably the right decision. That bird is still here. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Can we get the freaking thing out? I'm gonna use the sink. Because, man, things are crazy. Can I get that bird out? Or is that even a possibility? Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. I think, technically speaking, they were both very real Chloe's, and I'm sure that reality still exists within multiple universes theory. Um, the music is still on. Kind of wish I turned it off because it's kind of weird. Music in this is definitely weird. Yeah. Yep, locked from the other side. Anyone here? Warren. Your friend Chloe texted me that you shot her down. True? Chloe actually texted you? Oh. My. God. And in the end, he is still... <sighs> talking about the stupid movie. Guess invite me to the funeral. Juliet. Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy, my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. I wonder who that could be. Hey girlfriend, let me know when you want to come to my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover, Courtney. Cool, okay. Get some interesting messages there, probably from people we've talked to and therefore um, befriended or such. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe yeah, the lockers over there. Well, there's a padlock on those there, if you can see. Let's talk to David. Anything I can do for you, Max? I. Stop being I was an ass. waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. <laughs> Excuse what is me. with this guy? That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. See, that's creepy. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. Got expelled, I didn't he? Luck had anything to do people with are people... He, I could have keep been going back and forth between too. suspended and expelled. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I, I am sorry. See, Max. again, anyway, David seems like an okay guy. Both again. agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate. Like, Marshall. he seems like he genuinely cares about people. I tried to help Kate. You tried to help her more than anybody, Max. I sure didn't. Plus, I left that goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate, too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm I agree. Duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. 
He's in like this. I kind of agree with David. I'm not. I'm not getting good vibes. That one thing about Min making Kate cry just really made me suspicious. But then he was totally okay and professional when it came to yeah. Victoria trying to trying to. I guess you could say seduce him. <laughs> um, but I see David seems like an okay guy right now again. Like he seems like he genuinely cares and wants to help people. Why do you say that? These art farts are wanted to help people. All about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. The way you said it is so course, creepy, thanks though. Thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer, like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. Damn right I, I am. you standing up for me. But I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just going to get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now, excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist, too. Okay. So this guy is really bad at showing <laughs> how he feels. Hey, Missy, you do know I can see you snooping around. Yeah, that's the thing. He he kind of seems like he does like he's in somewhere deep down, <laughs> way way deep. He's an, hey Max, oh, an okay person. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Yeah, I know. He's nicer about it because I did stand up for him, and that's kind of what I was going for. Uh, because now, because now, you can get more information first of all, and I think he's right. Obviously, there's something crazy going down, and I think he knows I something. About those lockers. I think he does know something, um, and I have Should to find have that out. That's what it is. Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. No, it's not. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates. David must be working for the Prescotts too. Mm, everyone's working for the Prescotts. That's back to suspicion, dude. I can't. If you're working for them, I can't trust you fully. It's just not possible. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Sean Prescott, thank you for your help with Nathan. It's appreciated. Sorry, okay. But this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. All right, well, I'm back to being suspicious of you. I mean, uh, for a second there, you seemed like an okay person. But now I feel like you're back to being all creepy. Working for the Prescotts. I mean, everyone's oh, working for Prescott, obviously. Maybe you need the money for something. On that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What? I need to get into that, obviously. Is there a key somewhere here? There is definitely a key there. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn. See, he's really bad at, at expressing himself. Come but... on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave. But uh, I don't know if I trust him or not. Okay, what can we mess with? Always something I to mess with. Give up, William, but defend David. <sighs> Would Chloe hate me if she knew? I know. It's crazy things you've done, Max, and it all because of me, really. <laughs> William never finished painting that wall. Yeah, remember in the... in the alternate dimension, the entire house was blue. Anything out here? Not really. David even made sure to bag up the dead birds. Of course, you want dead birds and you're on rabies, man. I'm not gonna sit there, forget that. That's... Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Yeah, in the other dimension they had already gone to Paris. Now they're saving money for it. Those beached whales. whales are like beach so the beach, change, the beach whales still happened what is going in this reality. Here? So they would have happened either way. What am I trying to do here? The most expensive restaurant in town? Two hundred and sixty dollars for a meal for two people. Oh, endless wine right there. Six course. 
couple's dinner with endless wine. That's where it is, right there. It's ridiculous for two people. God, you could feed a whole family. Maybe two for that cost. What am I trying to do? I have to go, maybe I have to go back in there. I wonder if David is going to the party. He'll probably be there skulking. Hey Max, I do appreciate you. Uh, okay, why are you saying this? I don't understand. Tamper. There I you go. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. And that's Chloe, right on cue. I give up, William, but defend. He stopped saying the same things over. We got it. Gotcha. Crazy. Hey. Did, oh, he saw. All right, and we still have the keys. Just the way I like it. Keys. Is he gonna see this? I can't I imagine he doesn't hear this. Back. It's really loud. He's right over there. I don't understand how he's not oh, noticing this. Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Holy God. Oh, yes. This is some messed up conspiracy stuff right there. Pictures of Nathan. Me, Max, but I, I'm, I'm in the role, guys. <laughs> Score. Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. That's that's a Pulp it's Fiction Kate, line right there. Nathan are we happy? Rachel. Plus, there's some location Victor. coordinates. Is his name Victor? What was his name? David Vincent. Like Vincent? Are we happy? Army. Yeah, we're happy. Let's <laughs> get the hell out of here before we get busted. <sighs> now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. And Chloe is pissed. Well, she has, she has her mean face on. There's Jefferson and Principal Wells. Things seem to be going on rather normally. Everybody's doing their own thing like they normally do. The mood is a, the mood is I'm not sure if the mood is slightly down or if I'm just down. Because of the events at the beginning of this, but... Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? Oh, I my God. I was way God. too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds. Life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. Why would so you I beat the party be is the better celebrate. question. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Wow, that's she's hitting on him. Like super. Gross! You are out of control. Yep. Not yet. 
Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. See, Jefferson's back to being normal. Everyone just keeps switching sides. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, honestly. Let's Crazy. see if I can find out where Nathan is. Crazy things are happening. Isn't he not here because he's been suspended slash expelled? People keep saying different things. I don't know. Can't talk to any of these guys. Who would one talk to? Zachary, maybe? Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Brooke. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Who are you talking to? Ironic? Hey, Brooke. How are you? What do you mean, ironic? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Drone, Wales, Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Down to business. Have you seen him around? Let's ask Warren. To I mean, you're going to the movies with to him. To the oh, jealousy much? Come on, Brooke. Don't be to that defeat. Way. The Nathan Huns. was suspended, but. He should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. What is with this girl? What the hell is with this girl? I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Definitely want that Gosh, date with Nathan. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. What the hell's wrong? This girl's just super... Away another batch of dead birds today. Set it. That's super creepy. I just heard that in my ear and I was like, why are you whispering in my ear? I think, how are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. Did you get a rabies shot from you all those birds? Like you have a lot of questions, too. Could be careful. Animals, people, Arcadia Bay. People, animals. Animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. I feel like oh, Sam would be on board with that. Many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Dead, dead, dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not we can prove it. It's so ominous. Get your goddamn this drone out of here. I swear to God, Brooke. Then it Not the time. Matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco It's just a happening, Max. Or I think it's more than The that. Earth is rebelling. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. I can't believe I didn't ask about the squirrels. I love squirrels. But I'm not going to because I think we've spent enough time. Let's talk about the people. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan, Nathan. Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What yeah. do you really Every story about? needs a villain, right? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. This guy's like one of those omnipotent... <laughs> just all these omnipotent characters that just knows what's going on and decides not to say anything, but he's totally in here for the ride. It's weird. I, I, it so just he comes off like that because of the way he's talking. Like, he, like he, he can focus on the things that don't matter Is because no one else will. Anymore? Because yes. he, he already knows what's going to happen. You can tell that the campus or knows there's, there's something amiss. And you it's really weird. When everybody turned like, away. He seems kind of like a character like that. It's super weird. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that... I like Samuel as a character. I think he's yes. very interesting. I do, Max. In many different I think there can be a lot. Times, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. 
Like he's a very interesting character to talk to for information. More helpful spirits like a friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. It's a little bit creepy. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better. That's a very, that's a very, very good observation, no, Max. I, I just look at everything from. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why you're so angle. interesting to talk to. Sam is a re Samuel is a really good character to talk to because he says these amazing things. I still have a like, million. It's really cool things he points out that you wouldn't really recognize day. otherwise. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students. He said Gant instead of Brant. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. This guy's so sad. Like I feel like he's seen a lot of death and pain and things. The way he talks, man. To stay on your path and you'll find Something bad happened to him in his life, and now he's just here trying to help others, to... like guide them. Like he could be my spirit animal. Why was it the Doe and not Samuel, the janitor? I'd rather be in her class than the vortex. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm talking to him a lot, but yes, this is—he's probably my favorite character to talk Rachel to in the whole game right for this right here. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the vortex club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. This guy's like super observant and awesome, and I. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know? How do you know that? Because I am secretly I'm the writer of this story. Curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then you can see, see what's coming. See how interesting this guy is? That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I was talking about everything on that as well. Oh, the squirrels, because we never did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. So, a lot of you guys out there might not be interested in watching me talk to Samuel for 5-10 minutes, however long it's taken, is but this yeah. is a probably scientist, a really, that's a really good part of, of the I'm thing right there, where you get a very nice perspective of that everything that's going on. Look at the weather. Talk to a very interesting, interesting character, learn learn about him. Mark. It's really, we it's really nice. Look out for each other these days. It's really, it's a really good moment. I'm not gonna talk to Miss Grant Max. because I've talked Thanks to. For helping me fight the power. No problem. I, I've talked to Samuel enough, so let's go inside. Oh, I never talked to her. I forgot about that. The coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. They mention ninjas a lot. I, I do notice this. I feel like Samuel is my position, he would notice it too. I really like Samuel as a character. Did I say that already? So I might have said that. We don't have colored dorms <laughs> here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Excellent point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Or you can just both look, and then when he shows now up, I you can rewind time. Nathan's room. You're not using your power to the full extent, I don't think. Oh, wow, that was super laggy. I'm not going to look at everything. I don't care. If there are things to change, I will change them, because I want the good things to happen. But I don't care enough to look through all of this. Only Kate. Is it, is it only Kate? Sorry, Kate. Too late for your apologies now, isn't it? There is 
No Unique Picture of Reality, Stephen Hawking. I, I bet you this is Warren's room. Almost positive it is. He press the scroll this town. That may or may not be his. This can only be Nathan's room. Yup. Just break the goddamn door. We don't got time for bombs or anything like that. Yeah. Just knock that sucker off. Oh my god. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Alright, just have to read that quickly. I don't want to read the whole thing. Uh, on this, on. Uh, on these guys, you see these pictures on the wall? That is so Chloe. Yeah. Okay. Guys, these pictures on the wall. Do you see this? Nathan clearly has his fetish. Down. Yeah, bondage. It's S and M shit right there. Some weird dark imagery happening in this room. Like that is messed up stuff. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. No, you usually don't take medicine like that with alcohol. I'm just gonna point that out though. Hold on. Nathan is way into this party. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the party so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. Is he still going to the party even though he's expelled? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. I know this has been a stressful week for you and your mother and I'm... Oh, I and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime you make an appointment. Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. Oh, I need you to calm and quiet while Panis is being developed and no being oppressed as a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. Okay, this is getting really creepy. What destiny are you talking about? You'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an en enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. That is some ominous stuff right there. What is he even talking about? The Penn Estates thing. Destiny. What kind of father talks Too like bad that? Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Okay. I don't and yes, sister, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant. This is weird, man. Like, this is some crazy stuff he has. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Way yeah. Way too much. It's messed up. I bet these videos are really. These films all have a dark, dark pattern. pattern. Yeah, this guy's messed up, man. Even more so than we realized. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Yeah, what is with this dude? Do you see. He's weird, and that shadow looks so good. Hold on, Kai. Right. This shadow is just its making the game really real for me. That shadow, I don't know why. What, what's special about that shadow, but it really stood out to me just now. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. What kind of person hides their phone behind the couch like that? Unless they're either really crazy or paranoid, phone, or they have something so to I can hide. Show it to Chloe. Well, now, before anything comes back. God, everyone in this, in this game is like super paranoid. And mind you, I do the, I hide everything. That shadow is so good. Oh, 
That shadow, I don't know why I like that shadow so much. Now, I'm the kind of person that hides everything I own. No particular reason. I'm just super, I'm just super <laughs> secretive for no reason. I have nothing to hide. It's just, I do that for some reason. God, that shadow. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love that shadow. And my tone has slowly gone down. I was really excited. I was really crazy. I was really depressed. And now I'm just really quiet and mellow because it's really late and I'm tired. And hey, I'm getting tired of recording. And yeah, a lot of stuff is happening, man. So I'm going to call the episode there. It's been about 40 minutes for an episode. It's way long. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to finish off tonight because I'm tired. And the commentary is now dampening down. Um, so I don't know if I should continue. I probably will. Because, uh, actually, there's quite a bit left. Maybe I won't. And yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.